Welcome back. So, you may notice I've skipped ahead a day here. And I'll show you why. So, what I've gone ahead and done is just reorganized our inventory a little bit and sorted out a few things. So, we now have three duffel bags full of emergency supplies. So, they all contain roughly the same things. They've all got um, a few canned goods, some chips, some pop. Uh, a hand torch, nails, an axe, a crowbar, a hammer, a hand axe, a screwdriver, a gas can with some gas in it, and two water bottles. Now, the reason I've done this off, off camera is it's just uh, quite a tedious process to, to get all the bags in the right place. Um, but basically we've put one here, so if we ever have to uh, escape out of this window, we can. And we've just got a few, a few goodies to go with. I also cooked some fresh pasta and some bacon strips for the journey ahead. And uh, we've got two more of those emergency bags, which I'll show you now. So in the back of this car, we have emergency supplies, which is basically the same stuff. We also have a first aid kit, so uh, if you remember the two first aid kits on the table upstairs. I filled those with the, the same amount of items. And this is our emergency getaway car, so if we can use this car to get away it would be better. And this has got our emergency supplies in as well. And for some reason on the floor... <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, I just need to pick that up and put that in the boot of the car. Put in the put in the trunk. Yeah. So uh, in the in the boot of the car is uh, emergency supplies and a first aid kit. Oh, I see what's happened here. Okay, there's a little bit of a. This contains. What's going on then? If I drop this on the floor. Yeah, this does contain emergency supplies. Uh, let's equip this on our uh, primary. Yeah, so this has this has the emergency supplies in. I don't know why it's, it's just not displaying. I think it was a bag within a bag. A uh, little bit confusing, but... Uh, so let's go ahead and put this in the trunk. So we've got our bag with emergency supplies in and the first aid kit. And then here, this is just an empty duffel bag. Uh, we're going to rename this to uh, Loot. Loot. So we can use this empty bag as, as just a loot bag. That'll go in here. And you can see in here we've got emergency supplies and a first aid kit as well. We don't have a first aid kit upstairs in that go bag. We'll just have to survive because we do need a first aid kit on us as well. So we have a first aid kit as well. Um, we're a little bit low on petrol. We've got 10 empty gas cans, but we do have uh, three available. And we're just gonna check out this car. I think it's in pretty good condition. I think this is the one we're gonna take to the warehouse raid. Engine's 41%, batteries uh, 86% remaining. Uh, it would be nice to do something about this rear left tire. It's a value heavy duty tire. What do we have over here? So we have regular tire type, standard, and heavy duty. So we could replace it with this heavy duty. Uh, I'm tempted to do that. I think we will do that. So we'll just take out a lug wrench and a jack. Just go ahead and replace this tire quickly. And then we should be good to head off on our journey. So we'll remove this tire. This is the worst the worst one, 33. And we'll replace it with the heavy GT 100 percent And we failed, so it's not gonna be quite hundred oh uh, well it's still I think it has a chance to fail. Uh, just turn off the alarm quickly. 95% now. That's that's a little bit better, right? Uh, tire pressure is 0 of 35 though, so we do need to pump it up as well. 
So we'll go ahead and drop the uh, jack. Uh, I guess we're still holding the lug wrench. Uh, we'll take out the tire pump and we'll uh, inflate this tire. Gonna wear us out a little bit. There we go, up to 35%. Or oh, 35 uh, total even. And we'll put the tire pump back away. And I think we're good to go. We need to drop this tire off. Uh, don't need this tire. Uh, we'll keep it for emergencies. Uh, we have a few bits of food on us ready for the day. Uh, I'll drop the tin can in here. Uh, we'll eat the corned beef now. We've got fresh pasta to eat as well. So we'll drop that in here. And uh, I think we have a bottle of water. We will just refill that if we can. I think there's some water left in here. Not very much though. Yeah, there's one water left in here. Uh, maybe there's a little bit left in here. There's no water left in here. That's fine. Uh, we've got a hunting knife and a nightstick and we've got a fully uh, fully repaired axe. So we're just going to go ahead and make the drive over. Just have a quick peek outside. Everything should be as we left it. Just been inside for the day, basically. That's why we're uh, bored and sad again. We'll just check the generator. I don't think it needs refueling. Fuel 29%. That should probably be okay until we get back, even if it runs out. And there is obviously that other generator we can pick up as well, if I can remember where it was. Go ahead and start the car and begin our journey. I feel uh, pretty much prepared. I don't think there's much more we could have done in preparation for this. We've got a campfire, we've got a tent, we've got plenty of food. We've got two axes, so we're not going to run out. And uh, just going to do our best, I think, try and clear the warehouses and see what we can get. Hopefully, we can find some more tools. Uh, we did, we did clear that one warehouse. Um, I don't think we pulled everything we could have from it, uh, but it seems like there's a couple of other buildings there to explore. And uh, Rosewood is feeling reasonably tapped out now. I think we've taken we've taken most of the food from Rosewood, so oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, not quite sure how how much longer we'll be able to uh, survive on slim pickings from the neighbourhood. I'd like to have quite a few more supplies before winter. I feel like we need a lot more food uh, and perhaps more water as well. It'd be good to have a couple more of the water dispensers and maybe refill the one that we've used. So we're down to about 40 units in that that first one, and we've still got about 230 in the other one. But it'd be good to have a few more uh, water dispensers. Ah, I tried to swerve the zombie. Never try and swerve. <laughs> Damaging the car more and more. Should be okay. I might just stop here and check it out, to be honest. I think we're on about 40% or 39%, so. Yeah, 41%. It feels like that just damaged the hood, so we're probably okay. Just check on our map quickly. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of a marker here. Uh, some sort of car crashes here, so we, we remember next time. Just have to drive a little bit slower, I think. Car has pretty good handling. 
and I don't think it's too noisy. I think this one is uh, slightly quieter than the big van. This guy looks like a, he's got a big gun on him. Like some sort of uh, police ranger. Like a bulletproof vest and a shotgun. Hmm. Thought that would be. We could take the hat, I suppose. Not entirely sure how useful that's going to be. Oops. Didn't actually equip it. Uh, the bacon's going stale. There's another one coming up behind us. I think we will kill this one. to keep the road as clear as possible. So we can eat one of our bowls of pasta. Uh, let's jump back in the car actually, it's a little bit safer. Uh, I'm not sure, can we add... Yeah, we can create bacon. Yeah, I think if we add the bacon to the salad, and then we can add some of the corn. And add more bacon strips. More bacon strips. I'll keep it a little bit fresh. Okay, let's carry on. Just check the map quickly. Okay, we're nearly there. We've plenty of fuel. So as we start coming up on this area, I, I want to kind of leave the car here. Uh, we will jump out and kill these two. There's three, actually. Keep them all in a nice, neat pile. Okay. I'm going to try and clear... Oh, there's another one there. Did you just Did you just see it? You really have to keep your eyes peeled. They all come crawling out the woodwork. Okay. Just keep going on a little way. I want to clear this road up as much as possible. We're going to go in in a much more controlled way than we did last time. Okay, there's another two here. I'm just going to pop the engine off for this one. Getting a bit closer now. Still rocking it with the axe. Attracted two more over here, and there was one that just climbed over this fence. He seems to be wandering off that way, though. Uh, three now. Just kind of uh, pulling them out of the woods. Keep checking for more. Okay, it looks pretty clear. Not much of interest on these ones. Okay. Uh, jump back in the car then. Check the map quickly. Okay, so we really are we really are nearly there. So I think we'll ditch the car on the road. When we get a little bit closer. Another three here. I'm gonna turn the engine off again. Jump out. Getting pretty good at swinging the sacks around. Just check this corpse on the road. Last time one surprised us, so we'll be a little bit more careful now. It's, it looked dead and it decided to uh, just jump up. Okay, a little bit further. Not much further.
There's a couple more here. I think we're going to drop, drop the car and jump out. Looks like we've pulled a few. Some more behind us, so you need to be pretty careful. Looks like they're heading down south. Quite a lot of them wandering around. So I think we're going to try and make it from foot from here. Um, we're not quite at the, the mark, are we? We're not quite. Okay, just a little bit further. Not too far. There's three more here. I think maybe... Yeah, here. So we're going to park the car here. And this will be our base of operations. And we'll go ahead and jump out. So this is where we're going to try and sleep. So we do need to clear this area first. We'll go ahead and kill the ones that are following us. And any that have been attracted. Uh, looks like four here. Need to kind of uh, reorganize them a little bit. We want to try and get them one at a time. These two are coming in together, so let's move over this way. Okay. Now, aside from that, it looks pretty good. Got our car ready to go. We've got plenty of supplies. We're ready to raid. So what I want to do, uh, like I said before, is head into this first building and try and secure it as much as possible. And we'll use that as a, a kind of designated place to sleep. And if that fails, we always have the opportunity to run back to the car and leave. So that will be the initial game plan. Okay. I think there's any more? Uh, there's a big group down there. Maybe we'll clear those first. Or maybe we'll just go up here first. Not quite sure. Okay. Head on in. I love the dramatic music. Our new home, the diner. Still feeling uh, weepy. I guess human contact in this game is uh, any kind of human contact. Human to zombie contact. Okay. A lot fewer zombies down this end of town. I think we dragged most of them up. A bit, a bit terrified about this bit. Okay. Like three zombies there. A bunch scattered around up there. Just going to try and clear as many as possible. Okay, looks good. I'm gonna go over here and kill this one. Eat some of our bacon strips. Another zombie down. Okay, looks nice and clear down this side. Let's check out our skills. Axe level 6, taking, it's going to take a little while to get that one up. Still a little bit low weight, so we'll eat some more bacon strips. We'll add some bacon strips to this as well. I 
think I moved, so it cancelled it. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and take a quick look inside. Looks pretty empty, to be honest. It's probably the more sensible path. I think we dragged a lot of the, zom the zombies uh, to the, the north here. When we drove in with the big van. So, a couple dotted around here. I can see at least five. We're going to go ahead and clear these ones. And set up camp for the night. Another four here. I think there was another one to the north there, just off camera. Yeah, there's one here. And another one. Keep them coming. It's an old school Command and Conquer reference. That was left handed. I love how capable our character is with an axe right now. Uh, tomato seeds, we'll take those. Always good to find packets of seeds. There's another one up here as well. I'm tempted to, to, to yell, to be honest. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just kill this one. Looks pretty good. I think we've done a good job there. There's a big group up there. Let's head back. Uh, maybe eat... Maybe eat some of the bacon. kind of want to eat it before it goes off. Stale bacon. It's just making us more and more unhappy, though. Might need to take some antidepressants here. Go ahead and eat the rest of it. I think we will need to uh, equip this secondary. And we do have some antidepressants we can take. Uh, we'll take three of these. Just to uh, get rid of depressed state a little bit. Put those back in here. Uh, medical kit. Let's unequip it. Drop it back in our bag. Re-equip our axe. Okay, we can drop the can on the floor. Let's go ahead and clear inside. Can't get through the door to see if there's another entrance. Pretty clear of zombies down on this side. Another door here. Back door's locked as well. Uh, there's two garbage bags we can take here. I think we'll take both. And we'll build some more rain collectors when we get back. There's one more door we can try. This one looks locked as well. It's a little bit unfortunate. We might have to smash a window to get in. Quite sure where the best place to do that would be. Maybe just at the front here. Okay. So a group of zombies down there. I think we're gonna again have to take those out. We are getting drowsy now. This group's just a little bit too close for comfort. And there aren't too many of them. Weight's still going down. And happiness plus 10. Uh, maybe we just eat the chili for now. The 
chili and a zombie. Okay, we'll try and attack, attract them one at a time. There we go. Got this one's attention as well. Come to Mr. Axe. Slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Right, okay, so that's that group cleared. Some down there, but I think they're pretty far away for now. So we're going to head on inside. Pop these in our back. Uh, drop the can. Okay. Still got plenty of food on us, and we'll probably find some food in the diner. Not quite sure how edible it's going to be, but it might be some dried food or cans we can use. Uh, the garbage bag we'll take and we will actually take the empty bottle as well. Start needing to store water around the place. Okay, the door's locked. We're going to go through the window. Any zombies inside should probably have been attracted by that noise. So I'm going to go ahead and open the door here. Give ourselves a, an exit strategy pick up this other garbage bag. Go ahead and unlock this door. And then secure the premises. So it looks like there's a back room here. It's a toilet. Toilet's clear. Grab ourselves a drink while we're here and fill up our water bottles. Gonna bring us to about 11, uh, 10 and a half carry weight. And looks like there's another door here. Okay, so this is a second toilet. Okay. Head on in here. And this looks like the rear entrance the exit. So I think we're going to make up our... This will be our base camp. This room. Go ahead and check for anything we might be able to use. Uh, we can take the saucepan. Maybe even the baking pan. And the frying pan. And the muffin tray. There could be things we need for cooking. Go ahead and check for supplies. So all of this is rotten. All of these are rotten. Potatoes rotten. Bologna. Uh, we've got pepper we can take and salt. Uh, a wooden mallet. Two unwieldy to drive nails. I <laughs> love the little description there. Uh, nothing we can eat there. A kettle. Uh, there is a sugar packet. Uh, we could just eat that. Very minor calories there. 11. Better than nothing. Every little counts, right? Uh, bleach and cleaning liquid we can take. Uh, there's a griddle plan and a baking tray we can take. More sauce. I'm just going to call that one sauce now. Okay, so we'll grab the, the bleach and the cleaning liquid as well. I think that's everything for inside. Nothing more we can really take here. And I think we go ahead and... Uh, we go ahead and get our tent set up for the night. And this will be our base of operations now, over on this side. We'll probably stay here for a couple of days and try and bring the loot back. We'll leave the car down here so it's not right next to our defensible position. So if we have to evacuate, we can evacuate to the car. And even if we pull loads of zombies over to the main base, the car should remain clear. So we'll go ahead and grab some of these things that we don't need on us. Drop them into the car. Okay, 
looks like we've got, yeah, we've got our spare water bottle. And we want to take our tent kit. Okay, nothing on us that shouldn't be now. Back under our weight capacity. Just check we've got the axe still equipped. We do. Gonna probably eat our bowl of pasta. And we can pop the bowl in the bag as well. Go ahead and shut the door there. So we've got one door here and one door here, and then we've got two doors to the outside here. So either way, if zombies come this side, we should be able to run out this way. And if they come this side, we should be able to run out this way. So reasonably confident that this is a, a good place to stay. Uh, hopefully we should be able to... Can we pitch a tent on the inside? Uh, might need to clear some space. Let's go ahead and take down this oak table. We should be able to put up the tent. We can just about put it up there. wonder if we'll be able to use it. Uh, sleep. Okay, it looks like we can sleep in the tent from here. A little bit too early to do that, though. So let's go ahead and equip our axe again. Drop the hammer back in the bag. And obviously we've got some nails on the floor. We've also got these two planks. I think what we'll do is we'll take those back out the front. And we'll just hammer them to this window that we broke. That stops any zombies just sneaking in without us knowing. So we do have uh, a reasonably secure area here now. We'll equip our axe again, drop the hammer in the bag. So, looks pretty clear around here. So the plan of attack, like we said, make a camp here and kill these zombies. Maybe we've killed these ones as well. And we need to start making our way up to the next building. So we've got a few hours left. We are tired, but we could kill like one or two zombies on the way. Uh, as long as we find like, well, even if we just go and scout it, it's, it's new information, isn't it? So go and see what it's like. Got everything we need to survive. Just take it nice and slow. You see, there's two zombies here we can kill. So a bigger pack there and a bigger pack there. We can definitely take out these two, though. There's a third hiding, hiding there. We'll just kill a few more while we've got a little bit of energy left for the day. Easy peasy. So we are very tired now. It's going to make our swing speed a little bit slower. Well, that was three more kills. I think maybe we go and wait inside now. We don't have the ability to cook food here unless we place the campfire, but I don't think we're going to do that. We have plenty of uh, food we can eat. We've got this uh, canned corn and bacon salad for the morning. we just head inside and hunker down for the night. This looks like a uh, coffee machine. Uh, tabletop soda machine, okay. Pretty cool. Not sure how useful that is or whether we can even use it. Uh, we won't be able to use it now because we don't have power, but maybe we could come and pick that back up later. Another garbage bag here we can pick up to our bag. This food is rotten. Did we check these counters? Oh, we didn't check these counters. Oh, there's another bowl we can take. And, uh... Flour is pretty heavy. We'll put that in our bag. A muffin tray. I think I just missed those, those ones. And we'll go ahead and get into our, our single room. Uh, fill up our water bottle and drink. 
plenty of water here in the toilets, so we can we can survive here. Uh, I am going to skip ahead a little bit of time. We don't want to go to bed now. We go to bed about 10. It's going to make us tired and bored, but... We'll go to bed at 10.30. Otherwise, if we go to bed too... If we go to bed too early, we're just going to wake up too early and it's going to be dark and we're going to be hanging around again. Okay, so the alarm went off there. We're going to eat our bacon salad for breakfast. Looks like it's a little bit foggy outside. Might just have to pass the time anyway. A little bit unfortunate. Just have to stand here and kind of wait for the fog to go away. And it's 11 o'clock. There we go. Looks like it's kind of moving away now. Some uh, duct tape and a padlock there. More bleach. Uh, we'll take the duct tape as well. Okay, looks like the fog's clearing. We'll head back to the car and just drop off the few things that we got. And then we'll head uh, north and we'll start clearing some more. We're probably going to have to eat something. I think I'll eat the uh, corned beef. Need to stand still to do that. We can eat it moving. Looks pretty clear around the car still. Not a zombie in sight, so that's good news. Go ahead and drop the garbage bag and the flour. Olive oil and vegetable oil is really good for making uh, pasta a little bit more interesting. Bleach. Uh, we'll leave the duct tape on us. It's pretty low anyway, so we'll try and end up using it. Uh, the bowl... We don't need three bowls, we just need the one, really. So we'll carry one, and we'll put two in the car. Okay, that brings us to 8.42. So, a little bit of spare carrying capacity here. Pretty happy with our moodlets right now. Head up and uh, get a little bit closer to the warehouses. Looks like some zombies came down over here, so we'll clear these ones first. Need to keep our base secure. We do need to check on our axe condition as well. Just go ahead and check that now. Looks like it's still in pretty good condition. Okay, up the road we go. A small group here we're going to take out, and it looks like a couple more. This is uh, a lot more calm than what we were trying to do before. down. Uh, there is a magazine there. I'm going to take the magazine. I'll just read that quickly. Hopefully that will get rid of our unhappy debuff. Oh, we didn't quite read it. Never mind. It's a bit risky to do it there anyway. That looks like quite a big group. another group there and another group there okay so there's a lot of killing to be done here let's go ahead and make a start on this smaller group before they merge there's a group to the south as well if we can kill all of these little groups i think we'll be in a good position obviously we've got 
reasonably good skill with the axe to just uh, take them out almost in one hit, sometimes two or three hits, as long as we're not tired. And obviously, the, the biggest thing is when you get panicked, your character is less effective at combat. And fighting a big horde of zombies will make you less effective at fighting. Even if you're just standing near them, it's, you know, pulling one or two at a time just makes it such, um, much more of an easier fight. He says pulling like six of them in one go. Lovely. Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to fight them anyway. Wish I didn't have to do that, but you'll see my panic mood will go up. Doing your best to remain calm. So we're going to be less effective here. Hopefully we can still get some single kills off. Okay, we still did a pretty good job. Uh, beta blockers on this corpse. We'll pick those up. Where did I see them? Here we go. And another magazine. Okay, looks like there's one more down here we can take out. Okay, area clear. So we know that down to the south area is clear. Let's just... Uh, clear here. Uh, we just need to clear up this north area a little bit more. And there is also a building straight to our right, so we could pop over there. Maybe we'll do that first. There's a reasonably big group there. I think we can take those out. Oh, look. There's a building here, actually. Let's go ahead and uh, walk over to the building. I would like to know what's in this area. Kind of uh, came here and didn't really know what we were doing. But if we know which buildings we need to clear and which we don't, then, you know, it could be a, a gym or something where we only need, like, one or two items. It'd be good to get some dumbbells, but, you know, they're not... Can't, they're not like essential essential uh, looks like that wall is clear but there is a zombie there looks like there's just one around the back here go ahead and clean this one up what are you doing hanging out here eh? okay a few scattered down here so maybe let's clean them up it's all good experience anyway. Gives us more axe experience. Try and pull these ones one by one. There's quite a few down here, but I think it'll be no problem if we just uh, we just kind of catch them one by one like we're doing. It's not such a big deal when you're fighting one zombie. Just keep checking behind us as well, because we're not in a completely safe area. And two more down here to take out. Send them to the afterlife. Quite a few over here. I think I've said it before though, I'd rather see the zombies outside of the building than on the inside, so. Uh, we are moderately exerted now, so we might need to take a break for a moment. See how many more hits that took. That took like four hits. I think. Let's head back over this way a little bit.
So it does look pretty clear here. Can I, if I sit on the ground, can I look behind me? <laughs> I can do this. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to sit here for a moment. Uh, just to, to let that exertion debuff wear off slightly. Uh, looks like there is another zombie there. Let's go ahead and kill this one. Maybe we should work on getting our fitness up next. It's going to take quite a while. I might do like a montage or something. Rather than hours and hours of, of me just working out every day. Ah, there's another one crawling out in the woodwork. This one had a fork in them. Okay. So we do know we're a little bit tired. And we have Drowsy as a debuff. Let's go ahead and check this door while we're here. See if it is open. Looks like it's locked. So we know that that's not a way in. Uh, there is this zombie down here. We Just one, by the looks of it, we can take out. I'm going to check this door, though. And then not walk directly around the corner. Looks like this one's locked as well. We have uh, attracted the attention here, and we've got another one. So let's just kill these few. Nice one-shot kill there. The, uh, the bonus with the one-shot kills as well is you're just using less en energy generally. If I have to swing four times to kill a zombie, it's going to wear me out faster. There's uh, diminishing returns. It's much better to go for, to sleep for the night and have full energy. You'll be so much more efficient at clearing them. Yeah, we're tired again now, you see. still four over there. Uh, behind is looking clear, down is looking clear. Let's go ahead and rattle this. Uh, looks like it's locked. Looks like we hit the second stage of tired here, so we're going to have to head back to our camp soon. get that kill there. Try and just kill one or two more. If we can catch them one at a time, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Try and get them on the floor. Okay, still quite a few to clear here. Let's check this door. This door's locked as well. And this one. And this one. Okay, looks like there's pretty much no way to get into this building from this side anyway. There is a, a window here I suppose we could take. I'm just going to go ahead and kill, kill this one. If I can get them on the floor, I'm going to start using my boot. Okay, I think we head back now. It's a good day's killing. 899 zombies. We'll try and find one more. Get it up to 900. One month and eight days survived. Just take a slow walk back to the, the campsite. Uh, maybe open up this can, uh, can of sardines. Uh, open it up. I think we need to stop to open it up, so we'll do that. And we'll go ahead and eat them. Should give us a few more calories. I don't really want to drop below 78. Yeah, I thought I could hear zombies. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful here. We are overexerted. So I do have to kill these ones. I'm 
gonna try and stand on this one. Okay. Zombies down. And we cleared this nice big area out, although there has there's been another one pop up here. They keep coming out the woodwork. We'll try and kill this one as well, but that does bring us over 900. 901 zombies killed now. Pretty excited for our first uh, thousand zombies killed in this game. Nothing special on that one. Okay, looks like there's another group there that have popped up. It's a little bit awkward. That's right by our campsite. We are going to have to take them out, and we are very tired. Can't possibly leave them that close to our base. Hopefully we can... Yeah, we've pulled two at a time here, so that's good news. Uh, we will just have to fight them and uh, clear them out. Looks like we've got them both down on the floor. Stomp on this one. There we go. Didn't do that particularly well, but it's okay. Uh, we'll just check on the condition of the axe. We've got, still got two thirds left. Always good to check. You don't want your weapon to break on you. Mid-fight, when you need it the most. I'd rather swap it out for the other one. You see we're much less effective at fighting now. It's taken so many hits to kill that zombie. And every time you hit, you have a chance to decrease the durability. So, again, it's a, another compounding factor into uh, don't, don't fight when you're tired and exhausted. This is also why I walk around everywhere. If I was running around everywhere, I would just get exhausted so quickly. And I, I just don't think it's worth it. I Like, the couple of, like, say it takes an extra 10 seconds to walk somewhere versus running. Did I leave this door open? Oh, that was uh, foolish of me. Should not have done that. Go ahead and shut it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, I guess, uh, we'll uh, sit on the ground here. We'll read our magazine. Skip ahead for that. Uh, we do need some more water. There's 18 available here. Uh, looks like we've... Uh, let's fill up our water bottle. So how much is left? 17 of 20. How much have we got on us? Okay, so we're okay in there. And I think we're just going to have to, again, skip ahead in time a little bit. Can't go to bed this early because we'll wake up too soon. So we'll just go ahead and wait for... Wait for about half past ten and then go to sleep. There goes the alarm. Axe is equipped. Shut the doors. Okay. Let's check our perimeter. We are in pain now. Uh, one of the things we should probably do is take some painkillers for that. Go ahead and take two sets of painkillers. Uh, maybe three, actually. They should kick in. Go ahead and pop that back. Uh, unequip. Pop that back in our backpack. Equip our axe again. Uh, the pain debuff does reduce damage. Car is still nice and clear over there. We are hungry, so we're going to have to whip out some more food. Maybe the cans of tuna today. Let's get those out and get them both opened. So, looks pretty clear down here. 
let's head up back up to where we were. We'll eat one of the cans of tuna now. We're probably still losing weight. Yeah, we're down to 78 now. It's a little bit concerning. We'll eat the other can of tuna. And we'll drop those on the floor. Don't think we brought any other food. So we'll have to raid our, raid our supply in the car. Unless we find some more. I was hoping to find some more in that diner. Let's have a quick look at the map. So we know this is uh, kind of locked off to us, but we've got another building here. Maybe we should go up and check this building. See if we can find some more food. Like there's quite a few zombies hanging around here. You can just see the corner of the building there. Go ahead and kill this one. And then we'll move move over to the left a little bit. Looks like there's going to be quite a few to fight here. Luckily, we're well rested. Go ahead and move on over. Try and attract their attention. There we go. Now you can see me. coming we need to kind of move to the we need to circle them a little bit so they break up their arrival time doesn't help that they move at slightly different speeds some nice kills on them though nice and easy don't particularly like this bunch of trees so i'm going to steer well clear of that like there's two more we're going to pull here oops missed the axe Go ahead and stomp on this one if we can. Uh, we'll just check the uh, axe condition again. A little bit paranoid that we're going to have to... Well, we do have the backup, so it's okay. Whole bunch of zombies here. This looks like some sort of... Uh, I don't know, there's some picnic tables out the back. It's some sort of... can only dream it's a food warehouse. But we've pulled one of them here. There's another one over on this side. Good to get a few of them pulled away from these main groups. Looks like we've managed to do that. Okay. Like another one's coming in from the left. Another two. If we can clear this pack out quite quickly. Nice. Just really effective with the axe at the moment. Those one hit kills when we're not tired are really, really effective. Clearing through the zombies. Okay, so really big group up there. Not a massive fan of that. Let's go ahead and check out this window. See if we can scout inside. It's like some sort of office, but there is a water container in there. So we have managed to pull a few there and. Uh, yeah, one's come outside from the building. So, it looks like it's clear to the south. Let's try and pick a few of them off. Facing north is not my favourite angle for fighting zombies. Just because of the isometric nature of the game. I, I much prefer to fight them on the uh, either the left side or the right side. Or at a slight angle. Okay. I think we'll go ahead and clear these ones. Watching out for this tree, obviously. No visibility behind the tree. I don't know when there's a zombie there. Another big group up there as well. Don't want to get too close to the window here in case there's more inside. Oh, okay. Well, yeah.
I think I'm going to have to leave it here for this session and uh, regroup for next time. I'm just going to go ahead and pause the game here. Um, we're doing quite well, I think. We're, we're making good progress on uh, clearing out the zombies. And hopefully we'll find some great loot in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.